Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining another New Music Wednesdays. Um, today's programme is just two pieces of music. Um, I'm starting off with a piece by Sarah Catley. It, one of the things that's been actually really nice over the last few weeks is the number of composers who've got in touch with pieces of music that they've asked if I'd be up for playing. Um, and Sarah was one of those. And she sent me a little piece, it's just two pages long, and it's called A Viking Farewell. And I'm just going to read you what she's written about the music. I wrote this piece after a holiday on the Isle of Arran. We had been to a museum and learnt about the Viking occupation of the island. The farewell of the title sort of represents several goodbyes at once. Partly the piece feels, to me, a bit like a funeral music for a sort of imagined Norse burial. Secondly, it's about places bearing the traces of people, even after they're gone. And thirdly, writing the piece after returning home, it felt like a goodbye from me to the island. So, it's as I say, it's a really beautiful piece. It uses, it uses fifths quite a lot, which is um, always fun to play. So the violin is tuned in fifths. So as you, as you go up the strings, if you use one finger on two strings at once, you get fifths. Um, and it, it has some really, really beautiful moments in it. Um, and a really beautiful circular shape to the piece. Um, so yeah, this is, this is A Viking Farewell by Sarah Catley.
That was A Viking Farewell by Sarah Catley. And thank you so much, Sarah, for sending me that music. I've really, really enjoyed playing it. And after that, we get some Adrian Sutton. Um, Adrian Sutton is an absolutely brilliant composer and now a very good friend. Um, when I was looking for composers or trying to decide on composers to ask for the Bach project that I did around 2014-2015, um, whereas I invited six different composers to write um, works to partner Bach's sonatas and partitas. Um, and it was this point where I hadn't met Adrian and I was in a trio rehearsal, he's playing a piano trio, and I was in a rehearsal and the cellist happened to know him and mentioned his music and said you should totally go and listen to, to something that he's written because he's really great. Um, and I went on his SoundCloud and had a listen to um, the first thing that I saw, which wasn't in fact any of the music that he's incredibly well known for, like things from Warhorse. Um, from, from the amazing National Theatre play. Um, the thing that came up first was a duet for violin and viola called Spring Mask. And I was totally blown away by the music. I, it was one of those moments where you just hear something and you're like, I have to get that music. I have to find a viola player and I have to play it together. Um, and it's become one of those pieces that a group that I play with, um, Perpetuo, a chamber ensemble, whenever we can program it, we program it because it's such good music. Um, anyway, so I got in touch with Adrian and said, how about it? Could I have the music for this? Um, where do I get hold of it? And also, do you want to write me a violin piece? And he was amazing. He just got in touch and said, yeah, here's the music for the violin viola piece. And just let me know when you play it. And yeah, of course, I'll write your piece, which was amazing. And so we ended up talking a lot about the project and becoming good friends over it, which has been a brilliant addition to my life. Um, this work. So I partnered the composers with a specific Bach work and when I was trying to decide who would get what, quite a lot of the composers actually, there was a really obvious link for who would write which piece and Adrian was one of those. Um, the B minor partita um, of Bach is one of these pieces, it's, it's got so much lilting to it and so much, just, it's, it, it's full of dance movements and it dances. And I just thought that is totally what Adrian writes. So I partnered them together. And he's written me a work called Arpeggiare Variations. So an arpeggio, if you don't know, is, um, it's like the bones of a scale. So, so where a scale would be, you just miss out the odd note here and there and you go. And arpeggiare, um, an arpeggiated chord, which is what he plays with here. So a chord would be... An arpeggiated chord would be, then be where you rock between the notes, rather than, rather than like I just did then, which was horrible. Um, you rock between the notes like this. So you're going um, over them, just using the, the wave, the, the bridge of the violin, and curves, you use that curve. And his piece is full of this idea of arpeggios and, and moving like that. And you know, sometimes he does throw in some really tricky chords for me to play as well. And Adrian's a really fantastic violinist as well. So it means that he really knows how to make things difficult, but also playable. So it's really hard, but it's really wonderful. So it's a, set, it's a theme of variations. We start off with all of the mat material to start off with. And then comes a passage, a section, um, the second section called Assertivo, um, which is really quite um, tempestuous, I guess. Um, the next passage is a tarantella, so it's a dance and it's, it's really crazy. And um, then there's a beautiful lento, slow variation. And then there's a ritorno, which is the final variation where it comes back to the opening material. And it's one of the most beautiful passages where he goes out of the slower section into this return to the to the main melody so i should play it really so this is adrian sutton's arpeggiare variations um which was yeah written for me in about 2015.
Sutton's arpeggiare variations, um, which is, I love playing that, it's so great. Um, for anybody who um, who maybe noticed, I'm back on my old violin, who I think hates me for having not played it for about a month, and but it's very nice to be back, and um, we'll see what happens for the next concert, what I'll be playing. Um, and if you've been following the concerts, you'll know that I've been, I've been trying different violins. Um, also, as always, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if if you feel able, there's a donation button in the information about the concert. There's also Adrian's program notes for the piece in case you're interested in that. Um, and yeah, if if you're um, on social media later, I'm sure, especially Twitter, um, and either of the composers, if you have any questions, would be very happy, I'm sure, to answer them. And equally me, um, if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll be back on Sunday, five o'clock, doing a regular um, programme, everything from early music through to new stuff, as always. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.